watching NPT, Maryland's public television network. The Lawrence Welk Show is made possible in part on MPT by Oak Crest Village. Oak Crest Village retirement community residents enjoy full-service dining, a state-of-the-art health club, and on-site medical care. Oak Crest Village, the independent retirement you want, plus the health care you might need. Gentlemen, it's the Lawrence Welk Show, celebrating more than 40 years on television. Now sit back and enjoy the show selected especially for public television. When you see a champagne glass as big as this one, that can only mean one thing. You're in the museum of the Welk Resort at Escondido, and it's time for another great television show. Hello, I'm Myron Florin, and I'm here to tell you that you're in for a real treat. The program you're about to see is a silver champagne special, a black and white show that was chosen by our researchers for its vintage excellence. This Lawrence Welk program was the first one of the 1962 season, and it was carried live across the country. So all the little fluffs and ad libs are included. No extra charge. In 1962, President John F. Kennedy stood firm in his demands that Russia remove the missiles from Cuba. The U.S. Court of Appeals found Mississippi's governor guilty of contempt for resisting integration. And John Glenn was the first American to orbit the Earth. We were proud of our country that year, and Lawrence celebrated with an appropriate opening number. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. And the occasion makes our opening number especially appropriate. Get happy. One, and two, and three.
popular keyboard trio, Jerry Burke, Larry Hooper, and Frank Scott, with I Want to Be Happier. It's hard to believe, but Berdeen and I just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary. I remember our wedding day as if it was yesterday, August 19th, 1945, with the war in Japan ending the week before. The government announced that gas rationing was over, and that meant we could throw away our coupon books. It was particularly meaningful to us because we had planned to drive from South Dakota to Canada for our honeymoon. To celebrate our anniversary, our five daughters, Randy, Christy, Robin, Holly, and Heidi hosted a wonderful party at the Palace Verdes Inn in Los Angeles, and each one gave a short speech. Our seven grandchildren were there, Christy and Bobby Burgess children, Becky, Robert, Wendy, and Brenton, and Robin and Tom Sopolis children, Meredith, Emily, and Leanna. All three of my wife's attendants were able to come to the party, and despite all of the divorce statistic you read about, each one had been married only once. It was a great day filled with family and friends. And I just wish that Lawrence, a man who had meant so much to our lives, could have been with us on this very special occasion. Everyone enjoys the dancing of Barbara Boylan and Bobby Birches. They sincerely enjoy their work. 
Let's watch their routine to our recording arrangement of Yellow Bird. One and two and. Wonderful. Myron Florin and Joanne Castle team up to give us one of the top all time polka hits, the Beer Barrel Polka. Swing out, uh, Joanne Myron. <laughs> pleasing ballad made popular by Andy Williams. Jimmy Roberts sings The Wonderful World of the Young. Dreams are in. 
put makeup on Aladdin or put him in a special uniform he feels right at home and that's just what we did with him in this next number take it away boys one two and uh... I never got tired of watching Aladdin perform. He was one of those guys who was always on, and that goes for in front of the cameras, backstage, and everywhere. Verdine and I would invite him over for dinner, and he could go on for hours with jokes and stories from his long career in New York City and California, all of them told with the perfect accent. He was a very talented man, a superb violinist, and a gifted singer, actor, and comedian. I really miss him. Another one of the special numbers in that last segment was the Beer Barrel Polka, a duet played by Joanne Castle and me. We didn't do numbers together very often, so it was really fun for me to watch it, too. I would write out the second part and give it to Joanne a few days before the show. She would learn it, we'd rehearse it a few times, and then we'd be ready to go. Joanne was such a quick study, she always got it right from the very first time. The lady coming up next on the show is another great friend of mine, our beautiful champagne lady, Miss Norma Zimmer.
beautiful number, beautiful production number, very nice, Norman. Here are two talented boys who always set a lively pace. Jack Emmel from Portland, Indiana, Bob Havens from New Orleans, with a special arrangement of Dark Guys. Shall we give it to him, Jack? Yeah. All right. Ready? Master Joe Lavotier, who is a graduate of the Boston Conservatory of Music. Tonight, Joe plays a very fine song, Mighty Like a Rose, with Frank Scott at the piano. As I told you earlier, this program was our opening show of the 1962 season. And just to remind you of the times, here's one of the brand new hits that was written and recorded that year, selling over a million copies. It's a favorite for line dances, especially with us senior citizens. And it's called Alley Cat. <laughs> Elephant Walk album, a new and different arrangement of Mona Lisa. We feature our vocalist, our reed section, and Frank Scott at the harpsichord. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Fang, boys and girls, very fine arrangement. Here's one of the lovely Irish bellows Joe Feeney does so well. Joe sings, I'll take you home again, Kathleen. And tonight, Joe is assisted by Jerry Berg at the organ and Frank Scott at the piano. I'll take... is ready at the Tinkler piano with another rhythmic arrangement of a familiar tune, Shandy in Old Shandy Town.
be nice. You're getting better all the time. <laughs> yes, you are. Bass singer Larry Hooper and the Lennon Sisters team up to sing one of the current hits. And for this number, we take you over to the local mall shop. Let me tell you about things. Every night I sit here by my window. Window. Staring at the lonely avenue. Avenue. Watching lovers holding hands and laughing. Laughing. Thinking about the things we used to do. Thinking about things. Like a walk in the park. In the dark, Sing. like a sailboat ride. Yeah, yeah. What about the night we cried? Things like a lover's vow, things that we don't do now. Thinking about the things we used to do. Memories are all I have to cling to, and heartaches are the friends I'm talking to. About the night we cried, things like a lover's vow, things that we don't do now, thinking about the things we used to do. I still can hear the jukebox softly playing, and the face I see each day belongs to you. Though there's not a single sound, and there's nobody else around. Got me thinking about the things we used to do. Thinking about like a walk in the park. Thing. Like a kiss in the dark. Thing. Like a sailboat ride. Yeah, yeah. What about the night we cried? Things like a lover's vow. Things that we don't do now. Thinking about the things we used to do. I'm talking to staring at the lonely avenue thinking about the things we used to do hey you forgot to pay for the sodas ah thank you. I do a lot of conducting now and truly enjoy it but way back in 1955, when Lawrence said, I think it would be nice to do some medleys on the television show, and you'll do the conducting, Myron. All I could manage to mumble was a very weak, well, okay. Well, I did some things backwards for a while, and really must have confused the band, but finally, George Cates loaned me a book on conducting, and I was all right after that. As conductor or just a band member, I feel like I've been on the road all my life. I average about 150 dates a year, which is a pretty tough schedule for anyone, but especially for a man who has celebrated his golden wedding anniversary and has been working even longer than that. I'm trying to cut back these days, but there are some places that I've played for years and it's hard to say no. I played at the Worst Fest in New Braunfels, Texas for 28 years, the Hust Fest in Minot, North Dakota for 19 years the Town and Country Theater in Norwalk, Ohio for 18 years, the North Shore Music Theater in Beverly, Massachusetts for 15 years. I've done a two-week tour of Florida every winter for 25 years. And I've started going to Branson as often as possible. Next is one of my appearances as a conductor. And I'm greatly relieved to tell you that it was after I had read the book. Now we turn the Champagne Music Makers over to our good friend, Myron Florn. Myron and the band will bring you some great music from that hit show, South Pacific. <laughs>
bribe me to give those fellows a raise that play is so good this evening. <laughs> well, well, I got a hand from the band this time. Now that school day is our regular routine once more, let's reminisce with Norma Simmer and Jimmy Roberts as they sing this well-known song. Do you remember, Jim? Yeah, it sure seems like a long time ago, doesn't it, Norma? The young guy you're about to see is an old friend of mine, Dick Dale, who joined the Welk Band in February of 1951, just six months after I did. When I found out who he worked for before he joined us, I always kidded him that he was actually fired by the six fat Dutchmen because he lost a lot of weight and he had to come to work for us. In the number coming up, Dick is singing and dancing with beautiful little Peggy Lennon, and I'm out on the dance floor playing the accordion with people stepping on my toes. Dick always got all the fun stuff to do, and I'm going to remind him of that next time I see him. On with the show as Dick Dale joins our studio audience to enjoy a dance with lovely Peggy Lennon. Jenny Sue, Jenny Sue, Jenny. Come along through the years. Special invitation from Bachelor Bob Lido. One and two and a... Coast. 
performer, Bob Lido. Our friend Walter Brennan has recorded a new novelty, and we'll let Aladdin tell you about it. You know, I used to be like a lot of folks, seeing how much money I could make. But lately, I've been spending most of my time a fishing for that old wide mouth bass up in the lake. I call him Houdini. <laughs> the way he disappears just when you think he's taken your line. Why, he's been outsmarting folks for years. But one day, he's going to be mine. Uh, you know, he brought a lot of fishermen around here downtown. He ain't going to try out a few lures. Medley time opening with Wedding of the Painted Doll. One. Wasn't it great to see that show again? It reminded me of so many good times and of so many wonderful people that I worked with over the years. If any of you are out there watching, I miss you. I hope all of you enjoyed this Silver Champagne special and we'll watch for more of them in the future here on public television. Before I go, I want to tell all of you Lawrence Welk fans how much you have meant to me over the years. I love each and every one of you and you are a very important part of my life. I never met Oscar Hammerstein, but in my autobiography, I quote what he wrote to Mary Martin on one of their opening nights. Love in your heart is not put there to stay. Love is not love till you give it away. But those are great words for all of us to live by, and I hope we all will. Goodbye for now, and I hope to see you soon. Good night, sleep tight, and pleasant dreams to you. Here's a wish.
Natswelk is made possible in part on MPT by Charlestown Retirement Community. Active, healthy retirement living begins at Charlestown with 24-hour security, on-site health care, and year-round activities. Charlestown, the independent retirement you want, plus the health care you might need. Next time on I'll Make Me a World, as some black artists cross over into mainstream success, a revolutionary new movement challenges others to speak from their own experience. We wanted to project more than just one kind of art. So I decided that to hell with all the stuff that you want me to write, I'm going to write about what I know. I'll Make Me a World. Today at 2 on MPT.